Okay, welcome to the lesson today. We're doing animal idioms today. So let's get started with number one, that's put the cat among the pigeons. Um, this means that whatever that is, maybe it's um, maybe it's a Facebook post or something like that. It could just be a comment somewhere. If lots of people suddenly start commenting underneath and arguing, um, you can say that post put the cat among the pigeons. It, it started an argument. That's the main point here. It started some kind of conflict. Let's call it a conflict. Um, okay, number two, it's water off a duck's back. If you uh, use this expression, it means, and you can say to me or to you or to them, um, it means you, if you say to me, you are immune from criticism. You don't care about what people say about you or what they think about you. You're immune from criticism. So we just put criticism and put a cross for it, for this one. Um, number three, don't count your chickens before they hatch is the whole expression. But we don't usually say before they hatch. We often just say don't count your chickens, chickens yet or don't count your chickens too soon, maybe. Um, and it's the same as don't speak too soon. Don't be too confident that something good will happen. Um, so maybe you'll you're start talking about uh, the university you're going to go to and the course you're going to do and the marks you're going to get, but you haven't taken your exams yet and somebody says, don't count your chickens yet. Yeah, don't be too confident. Um, wait until you've passed your exams and then celebrate. Okay, number four. Take the bull by the horns. It means meet a problem or a difficulty when the difficulty is head on. Yeah, meet that problem head on. Um, so don't shy away from the problem, but just come to grips with it. So uh, perhaps you've got a really nasty job at work. You don't want to do this job, but you decide to take the ball by the horns, get it done, finish it, and then you can go on to perhaps more interesting work. Um, Okay, so perhaps, oh, I'd better put some, some comments up just to keep, keep your memories. So I would say for number three, don't speak too soon. Don't be too confident. Don't be too confident. Okay, don't be too confident. Take the ball by the horns. Um, take me to difficulty, head on, face to face with a difficulty. Get, a diff get some kind of problem done very often. So take the difficulty head on. Um, the lion's share we use in the sense of the largest part of something. So perhaps uh, somebody gets an inheritance and most of, perhaps there's a group of brothers and sisters and most of the inheritance goes to one brother or one sister, that, that sibling, that child gets the lion's share of the inheritance. So it just means the biggest part, the majority, you could just say majority, the biggest part. Um, a dark horse is someone who is mysterious, secretive would be another word. They don't reveal much about themselves. So oh, we just put mysterious over here, but secretive also. They don't reveal much about themselves. And you would say, he's a dark horse. I don't know anything about him. Is he married? Is he single? Does he have kids? Um, okay, number seven, the last straw. Um, this is uh, the, the final, the final in action in a series of actions which leads to breakdown or, you know, um, somebody getting angry very often and getting mad. Um, so I think you say in, uh, in Russia, but um, we say the last straw. And you might think, why is this an animal idiom? Well, it's because it's the last straw which broke the camel's back we say, and that's why I put it in here. We think of a camel with straw going on top and then the, the last straw breaks the camel's back. I don't know where this is from, perhaps it's from the Bible, I'm not sure, but it's, a, it's an old story. Um, okay, so the last straw, perhaps you, have, it, perhaps you go to a restaurant and you get really terrible service, and um, then they bring you the bill, they overcharge you, and then they come over and they spill wine on you. That's the last straw you refuse to pay. Um, okay, number eight, kill two birds with one stone. Uh, this is when there's um, 
you know, one action and two results. One, act, one action is done and you get two good results. It leads to two results. Um, so perhaps uh, you, you're going into town and you, you need to buy two different things and you think I'll go into town on the way back from work and I'll kill two birds with one stone. Yeah, I'll get both things on the same one journey. Um, yeah, it's a very common uh, idiom. Let sleeping dogs lie, it means leave a secret alone. Very often something that's already been forgotten alone. Um, perhaps if, you're, if you have a girlfriend and she introduces you to one of her friends and you notice, you, you remember that you've already met this girl and perhaps you've even shared a kiss, uh, but you decide to let sleeping dogs lie and you're not going to mention it. You're not going to say anything about it. Okay, the last one, there's two really here. There, you can say there's something fishy going on. I would start with there's, there's something fishy going on, which means something strange. Something fishy is something strange, not right. There's something not right. It could be very negative, like I smell a rat. This is much more negative, I suppose, but they're similar, and that's why I've put them together. And they work well together. There's something fishy going on, there's something strange going on. I smell a rat means I can feel a deception or I can sense a deception somewhere. Somebody's trying to trick me. Somebody's trying to maybe con me out of my money, maybe take some money. Um, or maybe it's just there's a hidden disadvantage to me. Um, so perhaps somebody, I think very often on the internet, you uh, get some kind of email which says that you've uh, won something and excellent things are going to happen or you're going to get lots and lots of money and you think, I smell a rat. Um, it just means, yeah, I think that there's some kind of deception here or I'm not going to get exactly what they're claiming I will get. Okay, if you have any, if I haven't made any of these clear, I'm sorry. Um, sometimes it gets quite uh, difficult just to uh, explain all of these different expressions. Um, please ask any questions under the video and I'll answer them. And uh, yeah, uh, I hope to see you soon. Please subscribe if you want to see more videos. Thank you. Please subscribe if you've enjoyed this lesson and would like to receive more over the next few weeks. Uh, here are some videos on phrasal verbs, auxiliary verbs, tenses, and verb forms as well, like gerunds and two plus infinitive. Um, please watch them and try the quizzes below the videos. And uh, I hope that you improve.